Hi everyone. I just wanted to do a quick video on this Tesla uh, vehicle to grid situation. It's been in the news lately. Um, it's been posted that Tesla has quietly added a vehicle to grid function in the Model 3 and Y. And I don't believe that's the case. What I have here is the guts out of the Mo 2018 Model 3 PCS, which is the power conversion system. I've done a video on this before but I never had the board out until recently. So what we have here is the PCS board. This part here is the input filtering. So on this connector here is um, in the US, uh, we have only single phase, so only two of these wires are the AC input from the charge port. And this filters the power and down on this connector delivers it to the rest of this circuitry. Um, there, on this circuitry, we have uh, underneath the board, which I'll show you in a minute, some semiconductors which uh, take that power and convert it into high-frequency AC, which is run through one of these three transformers, I only have one here now, to isolate the power line from the car battery, and then uh, rectify that AC, the high-frequency AC, into DC, and then it goes out through a filter, which isn't here, and into the battery. The PCS also uh, functions like a normal car alternator would in taking high voltage from the battery when you're driving and running it through this transformer and producing about up to 200 amps of 12 volts DC to keep the 12 volt system happy. Anyway, what was speculated is this is a bi-directional design, which means you could take uh, the car power from the battery and run it back through the system and produce AC with it to either sell to the grid or maybe as a backup. It, it, for that to happen, it would have to be a synchronous system, which means the all the semiconductors would have to be switches all the way through so that that could happen. And what we have here is not the case. Let's remove this filter, transformer, the other transformer, and flip this board over. Okay, so now, this is the side that's normally uh, bolted up against the cold plate <coughs> over here, which, which was the input. The power comes in, and we have our first set of uh, semiconductors here, which is the power factor correction stage. Um, on these little pins, there's the, basically what we have here is the board is divided into three sections, and they're basically identical sections. So that just kind of magnifies the 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 power handling capability. In a base model three, uh, they don't populate one of these sections, so you only get two of the sections. Anyway, the first uh, set of switches here is the power factor correction boost stage. It uses an inductor, which is on the cold plate uh, connected here, and some switches to boost that uh, AC into high voltage DC. Then we have these switches here, which turn that uh, high voltage DC into high frequency AC, which runs through the transformer and over here. And this is where the problem is. If, this, if these were also switches like these, then this could work backwards. But these are diodes. You can see the marking on the board. It's upside down, but uh, D means diode. And the part number is SID 600, which is a clearly a house marking because I can't find it. I can't even find this package design anywhere. Um, it's very nice. But over here, we have a, the exact same package, but you can tell by the way it's connected on the board and the nomenclature. It's called a Q, which is typically the symbol for transistor. So we have transistors switching over here, but over here we just have a basic uh, four, four diode bridge that converts the AC into DC, and then it runs to this filter, and then to the pack. So if, if you wanted to run this backwards, the power would come in, and then it just stops at these diodes. It can't go any further. So there's no way this hardware can be vehicle to grid. It's just not possible. Now, <clears throat> over here, we have the, the uh, output rectification for the DC-DC converter. And these, these are the switches that drive that from the high voltage. These are FETs, so this is synchronous rectification, which means the DC-DC can work backwards. 
and that is used in the Model 3 for pre-charge, which is when the car is about to boot up before the contactors can close, they take 12 volts from the 12 volt battery and boost it back up to 350, whatever is needed, to match the voltage of the high voltage pack so that the contactors can close without an explosion, basically. So uh, it, we do have one bi-directional capability here, but it's definitely not for AC, which is a shame because if these were FETs or IGBTs, um, this could be synchronous rectification, which would improve the efficiency a little bit and then uh, also work bi-directional. But um, looking at these parts, I have a sneaking suspicion that these are silicon carbide, so they're probably pretty efficient, um, which is not bi-directional. Well, I hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them here in the comments. Take care.